charting our top five, Cyprus successfully exited its bailout, the fourth Eurozone country to do so, and will soon return to international credit markets. Here's what the country's finance minister, Harris Georgiades, told CNBC. I cannot confirm, uh, and if it's going to be a 10 or if it's going to be a 7, yeah. what the markets are seeing and have seen, and I'm, I'm very confident that they will continue registering, is a very positive trajectory. The economy is back on growth. Um, uh, the debt is coming down. Um, the, NPL, the NPLs, the non-performing loans, are being restructured fast, and it's becoming very clear to the markets also. At number four, the American election dominated headlines after Bernie Sanders clinched a surprise win in the industrial state of Michigan, widely expected to favor competitor Hillary Clinton. On the Republican side, Donald Trump won in three out of four states. Oil continued its roller coaster ride this week, gaining and losing 2 to 3 percent before rebounding again as rumors of an upcoming meeting to discuss a production freeze are seemingly dispelled. Coming in at number two, China's political elite met for the annual National People's Congress and announced it would be willing to increase its fiscal deficit to maintain 6.5% to 7% GDP growth. It would also be willing to help state-owned banks if they needed it. The country's vice finance minister, Zhu Yang Yao, spoke exclusively to CNBC. We need by 2020 to reach this great goal, double GDP and the per capita income. We must keep annually GDP growth more than 6.5%. But the top event of the week came from Frankfurt, where the ECB unleashed a slew of measures which include a cut to its main refinancing rate to 0.00% and to its deposit rate to minus 0.4%. It also extended its monthly asset purchases to 80 billion euros. This comprehensive package will exploit the synergies between the different instruments and has been calibrated to further ease financing conditions, stimulate new credit provision, and thereby reinforce the momentum of the euro area's economic recovery and accelerate the return of inflation to levels below, but close to 2%. And that's your look at the top five business news stories of the week.